بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم welcome to another tutorial on Adobe Animate CC 2020 in this tutorial we are going to demonstrate the use of shape between in a little bit more details rather than the video that we already explained before so let's just quick review what shape between does shape between doesn't require the drawings to com be converted into an object so we're going to have a shape like this let me just change this stroke back to normal to uniform stroke with 5 and I'm gonna select the fill color to be red okay and then I'm gonna have another keyframe here on the same position and in this keyframe I'm gonna change the fill color into green back so to create a shape between simply right click and create shape between as you can see this is gonna change the fill color as the name implies it's shape between so it's meant to change the shape shape fill stroke stroke fill move the fill itself you can refer back to the video entitled entitled creating animations for more details now in this video we're gonna focus on something else in shape between which is the use of shape hints so basically rather than the color changing if I'm gonna just uh, let me remove the shape between oh, basically I'm gonna shift F5 delete everything press Q and make this sorry double click and then small this down okay I'm gonna move it like that and then I'm gonna press uh, press F6 there and I'm gonna move it here and then rotate sorry rotate it like this so now if you create a shape between like this Adobe Animate will convert this shape into this shape okay mapping these po these four points to another four points if they are equal if they are not equal Adobe Animate will add or remove points in order to morph it or transform it to the other points so now if you have a look to this if you focus on this point here you see it's gonna be exactly here so can you change this can you make it move to that side sure you do you can do this so in order to do this you need to select your shape or not you go to modify shape you see you have to select it or at least you have to be at this keyframe here it's better it's going to be selected and then you add shape hint usually I use the shortcut Control shift H so when you add a shape hint you're gonna have the shape hint here I'm gonna make it I'm gonna move it to that side then control shift H I have another shape hint here and I'm gonna have another shape hint here you can have as many shape hints as you want not necessarily four because you have four points you can have more but for the for the demonstration purposes in this tutorial or for this tutorial we're gonna use only four so now at the end we're gonna have the shape between again and I'm gonna make the D moves here and the C moves here and the B moves there and A is gonna move to that side so A is not gonna be here it's gonna be there okay so now when you see them green it means it's gonna work if you don't you need to repeat the process maybe you need to delete the shape hands because you did something wrong so now as you can see here you have a different morph process because A is gonna move to that side and D which was here it's gonna con keep moving to this side and so on okay you can play around with those with those shape hints as much as you want okay so this is how we use the shape hints basically you we can use another example I'm gonna just delete this shape and I'm gonna use the pen tool right now where's the pen tool uh, it seems it's not added yeah it is not added I'm gonna just drag it here and with uh, with everything I'm gonna include it to the same group okay sorry let me just close this I can just make this two sides uh, where is the pen tool it's here the pen tool I'm gonna uh, click press shift click again and then click and then click and drag and click and drag and then click and then click here okay I'm gonna go to the sub selection tool let's just move this to that side 
move this to that side uh, this point only okay let us select those two also I'm gonna move them so we are gonna have something let me just move it so I move this a little bit okay it's not necessarily to be perfect it's just any some kind of wave that we are gonna apply shape hence to in order to move the wave from one side to another side so now I'm gonna add shape hence basically let's add a fill so we can see the wave better I'm gonna fill it with no green I'm gonna fill it with the, with the blue color and um, basically we don't need the stroke anymore I'm gonna delete the stroke okay now I can just move this to that side I can just move to that side sorry just it's gonna snap to the edges and now we select we have it here f6 and we are gonna have the same thing but we are going just to change the the wave oops okay to another it's gonna be a different wave I'm gonna move this up basically uh, okay I can do something even better I'm gonna select this I'm gonna go to the free transform and flip it as simple as that okay it's gonna flip now let's try the shape between here control shift H uh, here control shift H oh sorry we, we don't see it because we don't have motion a shape between yet we need to create a shape between first so for this you see it's, this is going to be the changing or the modification in the shape so I'm gonna press uh, sorry we don't need uh, three uh, we don't need four we just need I'm gonna have to have I'm gonna have three basically one here another edge is gonna be here uh, sorry it should be yellow in order to work and another one which is going to be uh, that side so now at the end what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back here I'm gonna keep D as its location but I'm gonna I'm gonna keep C also as its location but I'm gonna move B to this side I'm gonna keep A there so as you as you saw only B moves of course we could we could have we, should, we could have used only three but basically this is shows you how B is moving from that side to another side okay you see how the wave is moving if you want we can remove the C from here I can click C oops I clicked the shape so let me remove hint by right clicking it and it's not going to be available here you see this the B is going to move of course we can move the B from that side to the to even further okay this is going to move the wave even further and you see now this point is moving okay it might not be a perfect example but uh, demonstrate the idea of using the shape hands of course shape hands could be complicated or time-consuming overwhelming process because of the complexity of your, of your shape if you have many many points that you want to move to a specific other points but it is very very useful in certain cases and if you want to move or to morph or to transform one point to another point to an exact location that's it for this tutorial thank you very much for watching hope to see you in other tutorials inshallah have a nice day